Years ago, Nicolas Cage used to be everything. He used to be a ghost rider. He used to be gone in 60 seconds. He used to literally be a national treasure. But now he's simply buying property that looks like a national treasure. Hey guys, how's it going? Leland King Foss set for president 2036. And usually I don't make videos that don't have endings, but this video literally does not have an end, does not have a meaning. I'm as confused as you guys are, and we still have not gotten an answer to this tomb right here. This is the tomb of Nicolas Cage. There's only one problem though. Nicolas Cage is 56 years old and still alive. So what is he doing getting a tomb that just says everything in one written on it? Let, let, come with me, come with me. This pyramid right here was purchased in 2010 in the same funeral where the voodoo queen of America lays. Um, at the same time, he also bought the Lao La Re mansion, which is notorious for having curses on it. So the same time he bought his cursed mansion is also the same time he bought this piece of property. And it's also the same time where his career started falling off. It's actually custom for people to actually leave lipstick stains on the grave of, on, on this tomb. Now, I wish I could tell you what this tomb is for, but I can't tell you. There's, it, it's a very weird tomb, let me show you. So first and foremost, there's this little door right here. This, this is the entire thing. There's steps, but this right here isn't stone. It's like a, I think it's like a laminate or like a very hollow quartz. But this right here, it isn't a solid stone. If I took a pickaxe, it's like can burst right through it. Compared to some of these other ones that are made from solid concrete or these are built solid. But if I smack this, this is concrete. There's something there. Also, this grave already has perpetual care on the grave. Even though the actor has not died in the 11 years he's owned this property. I don't know what, uh, what do you call it? Nicolas Cage is going up to, but let's go around the uh, pyramid real quick. Now, some say this is an homage to his National Treasure series back, uh, that he started in 2004. But I simply don't see that being the case. Like, sure, I'm a narcissist. I get it when you want to go ahead and show people what you've done with your life. But this is a little overboard. Mr. Cage, what are you doing? Who built this and why? Like, I know there's enough space here to say Nicolas Cage. But Nicolas Cage wasn't born in New Orleans. Why do you have a grave here? I wish I could supply you with more information, but we literally do not know why Nicolas Cage bought this as well as the La Vouvray Mansion that's right down the road. Everything in one. And not just this tomb right here. People on YouTube have been documenting that Nicolas Cage, because of his awesome blockbuster movies in the early 2000s, he has money up the wazoo and he's just spending it on random shit. Again, I'm not going to go over all of his purchases because there's been many videos about all the ridiculous and egregious stuff he spent his money on. But this seems to be the weirdest because not only is it a tomb, it's a tomb of a man that is still alive in generally good health and who has no ties to the state of Louisiana at all. So why is it here? What are you planning, Nicolas Cage? And if this was a tomb that you wanted to uh, one day inhibit, um, uh, what do you call it, inhabit, the front wouldn't be made out of this fucking laminate or whatever. It'd be made of a stronger material like this marble right here. Something's going on. Anyways, guys, if you have any information about this pyramid, please let me know. But as far as we know, Mr. Cage isn't going to give us any more information about it. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leland King Foss set for president 2036. And Nicolas Cage, stop acting all edgy and quirky because you have a random fucking pyramid in the middle of one of the oldest cemeteries in Louisiana. Tell us what you know. It's been 11 years. Time to fess up. You're not dying anytime soon unless you're planning for it. Come on. You're not cool. You're not quirky. You're washed up. Just let us know why you bought this. The suspense is killing me. And I don't want to have to wait another 25 years to find out. God.